Hi guys, today's video I am going to show you how to install Dank Monofont family in VS Code Editor. So let me go and show you the preview first. So let me go here in my VS Code Editor. You can see that in entire VS Code Editor I have set up the Dank Monofont family. When you click on file, you can see in the sidebar and you can see in the editor as well. So now you can see we started to do step by step. First you need to download the Dank Monofont family so I have created github repository for it so you can see over here and Dank Mono folder you can download bold, italic and regular font ok from here I will add this link to my video description so let me go and I already downloaded so let me go here you can see that and when you click on it you will have a button call install so I have already installed so it say installed but if I go for italic there is should be say install and you can install in your system so that's compulsory okay so now let me go here and go to again vs code editor and you can see that there is a default setup right now and now let me press ctrl shift p and there should be say user settings json and hit enter you can see that something like that setup and by default there is a key called editor dot front family if you don't have you can add this and by default this font family has set up now we already download and install dank mono in our system so i can add dank mono over here okay dank mono okay and just save it okay and when you save it it's instantly change your font family for the editor so you can see over here okay so this is perfectly fine and it's working for editor but what we have for other like entire system i want to change it okay so now let me go here and first of all i will create the css file so let me go and open the text editor okay and just open it and i need to write the css and then i need to save as a style.css file so let me go here and just i already written all the css so copy this i will add this css in my video description as well so just copy that and just paste it over here and save this file as a dot css and let me go make sure this uh, uh, you need to remember where is you are going to save style dot css okay and just save it okay so this means this is the saved pro properly and fine so now let me go here and then you need to install one extension so that's called custom css js loader that you need to install in your vs code editor this extension okay after this what you need to do so go to again your control shift p and user settings and here i already commented out but i will again enable the vs code custom css and imports from i already have a path so where you saved so let me go here and let me show you css and here i'm going to say just over here the path you can see that like home hurry documents this is the path of css and you need to just copy that path and paste it over here and you just need to call style.css over here before it was custom.css but save it something like this with this key save it and now what you need to do just you need to again Control shift p for uh, for ubuntu and just enable custom css and js hit enter you can see that restart visuals code so hit enter and you can see over here like it's awesome so you can see that in sidebar and if i cl click on it you can see that everywhere inside the vs code editor font family has changed and right now everywhere is tank mono font family so it's look really awesome if i go to the extension everywhere it's going to just change so, so you understand how easily we can set up the custom font family in vs code editor if you like this video then don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel see you in the next video guys